Hey guys, Satya here. So today we will discuss about uh, two of the XPath functions available in Selenium. So one is uh, position, second one is count, right? So what is the purpose of uh, these two XPath functions, how to use them, right? So we will be discussing uh, today. So the main purpose to use that is so so guys like I have seen like many people who whenever they they design XPath uh, uh, especially in Selenium I have seen they use index so similarly you would have seen this like uh, div then uh, you know uh, id equal to um, something and uh, then again they will do div then they will make it four. Right. So similar stuff I have seen. So, uh, so it's it's a good practice that uh, you should avoid using index. Right. So what if uh, like okay there is a site I have opened. What if so let's say this is the web table and uh, you want to read the currency. Right. You want to read currency for a particular country. Now what if if you hard code there the index. Let's say this is one, two, three, four, and the fourth index is uh, uh, current fourth index is for currency column. Now, when you are designing your XPath, if you uh, provide in the XPath itself uh, the the index as four for currency, what if in your application tomorrow uh, it's possible that you know they, they will add another column in between or they will remove uh, one column in between? Then the index will get changed. So there is a huge possibility that you know your code uh, change required. Right. I mean, there is a possibility that a lot of time the code change required. So to avoid all this, our, our intention is to make all the XPath generic so that, you know, whenever the application gets changed. So at the same time, our code won't break. Right. I mean, there, there is a minimum possibility that code will break if, if it is generic. Right. And we can rely on the long term. So how to use that? We'll see. So similarly, this is the same scenario we'll try. So to get currency, uh, what do you call currency of a country? Okay. So we'll just try this for Afghanistan, the country, and the currency is Afghani. So we'll try to get this currency for this country, and we'll design an export. So before that, okay. So this is this is what in a simple term we'll do it with the help of index itself. We'll do it. Okay. And uh, then I'll come to this point. Uh, I, I'll explain what exactly this position and count. Okay. So now uh, let's find out this first one X path for this. So for uh, uh, for first uh, country that is Afghanistan, we will get the currency with the help of index. Then we'll make it generic. So now let's do it. So leave it for 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 uh, for the the the. Uh, the header part right in this table let's forget that first let's identify this Afghanistan and uh, currency for that so this is one TD and this TD is present inside one TR that is row and this TR the parent of this TR is table right so this, if you see here this is highlighting this is a complete table and this table has this ID countries okay now let's go and do this um, we need to go for a table which has id equal to countries okay so we found the complete table now now in this table let's go to a tr we saw here one tr right and this tr is a it's highlighting here that uh, table header column header right i we do not want to go there now we will go to this tr fine we will go to this tr for now okay later part uh, we can uh, make it generic also this one also now tr or else let's not go to this tr we will identify this country name itself right and then this country name itself is present in the second tier and the first tier is the table header second tier is this one so now let's go to this tr and in this tr where is this country name it is inside a TD and uh, some other node is there which is strong and there the, the, the text is Afghanistan. So we need to go to a TD right where another some node is there where text 
equal to what Afghanistan. Let's just copy this. Okay. So I think yeah. So we got Afghanistan, right? But with this reference, I mean uh, reference, I mean uh, referring this uh, Afghanistan, this TD, we need to go to this TD. That is fourth TD, right? This is now second TD. But we are we are not mentioning anywhere second TD because we want to go from Afghanistan with reference to Afghanistan. So now Afghanistan is here. Now we need to come to this TD. Then we need to go to fourth number TD of this row. So what we'll do is we'll come to this TD first. Now we are not in TD, right? There is another node that is strong. Now we need to come to this TD. So once we come to this TD, this node, we need to go to the parent node, which is TR. You, you can see here the left side it is highlighting, right? The whole TR. Now in this TR, we need to go to fourth TD. That is one, two, three, four. That is the currency name. Okay. So what we'll do here is now this is TD. We need to go to a parent TD, then parent tr in this tr what we'll do now double slash because now it will check for all the child td we'll go to td that right it will identify if you see here it is highlighting five i mean it is showing here five td because one two three four five columns are there if you see here it will highlight one by one one two sorry two three four five okay one, two, three, four, five. Now the currency is in four, right? So let's give here one index four, five. Now this is what, right? Afghani. Now it is showing, it is highlighting here Afghani. Now this X bar, this is the X bar, <coughs> right? Now this is the X bar with using index. Now if you see here, we have given here the country name Afghanistan. And we have hard coded one index for currency. Now this, now there are two hard coded value, right? One is index, one is country name. Now, how to make this generic? It's very simple. If you provide any country, like uh, if you see here, uh, what is this? Uh, yeah, you can you can can provide here Angola, right? Andorra. You can provide here. Andorra. So it is giving you euro, this currency name for Andorra country. Okay. So similarly, what you can do here is in your code when you are using, just put a placeholder here and whenever you use this X path, that placeholder you replace it with your country name. So that will be generic. Okay. First, first is done. Now second is this index. Now this index, we need to make it generic, right? Now we will do that by using these two functions. One is position, second one is count. Position is nothing but it will just, you know, uh, to get any HTML node by an index, right? So whatever the index you are providing is nothing but the same thing for position. It is just that, you know, uh, uh, when you are using this count, uh, the same time you need to use position so that when you are doing count that count has to be received by some function and that is the function um, this position okay so how I will do that is I'll show you here itself right now this is already done now we need to do here position of 4 okay so now uh, what I did here is this 4 was there right because I'm going to use this count and this count, whatever it is returning that should be received by this position. So first of all, what I did is I use this position, position equal to four. The same thing, it will work. Here I'll just replace, okay. For Afghanistan, it is showing this Afghani. Okay. So the above one and the second uh, X path is both are same. Now what happens is, now in this here, we will use this count. <coughs> okay. Now, uh, let me prepare here one. Sorry. Oh, sorry, just a minute. 
सिंथेसाइजेस कर दिया लेट मी जस्ट कॉपी दिस सो इन दिस फोर द प्लेस ऑफ फोर आई विल बी यूजिंग दिस काउंट and in this i'll be creating another x path and i'll put right where the x path should give me four elements because the four elements if it will give me then the count of those four elements what it will return four now position equal to four it will become right so this will give this should be the x path where it will it will give me four elements and what what are those four elements i mean four four nodes that i'll show you so this four is coming from where actually the four because we are we are identifying currency right so the four is coming from this header section this table header and this table header this is one node second node third node fourth node fourth node right so this is what we will be using to to get four four nodes okay so first let's find out this one okay then we'll just replace here now let's identify this one this is the table table so table we already see the same table table id equal to countries right now let's just remove everything table we got it now in this table the header will be always tr the first one first tr okay first year and in this first year we need <coughs> so we need to identify this four nodes 1 2 3 4 now how to do that first let's find out where the currency node is okay what we can do is let's go here yeah this is the currency node okay this is a currency currency text this is some strong node then uh, some s3 then td so uh, our intention is to go to this td because by td itself we can differentiate this is the first one second td third td fourth td now let's go here td okay then we'll do any any node where text equal to currency we got it currency right now we need to go here we can use your ancestor that is another xpath access available in selenium ancestor we can use or else we can make it simple here uh, just we will make it here parent right parent anything then again we can use parent we can let's use it uh, ancestor here ancestor td okay now we got here td now for this td we need to see how many td are there before this now which td we are in so right so in the left left side it is highlighting it is a currency td now before currency td how many td are there 1 2 3 td right let's do it again we will do what we will be do doing here preceding sibling we already discussed right sibling means it is the same level so now we are here in td sibling means it should be the same level if you put a scale in the html drum structure you can see here both these, these all are in same line same uh, what do you call this same alignment right if you see the h3 h3 is a 
child of this td right but this td this td all these four td are in same level so now what i did is preceding sibling of td okay now how many we are getting here it is showing is 3 so for currency preceding uh, sibling of td that is visited country and yeah visited country and capitals so these are all 3 okay so 3 we are getting but so let's go here i'll just do one thing okay now this one we identified but if you see here we are getting here 3 what value we wanted 4 right we will put this x path here but the count we want 4 right now i just put here x path here now this will give what this count of this one 3 but the position should be 4 so what i will do plus 1 i will do okay so this is now if you see here there is no hard coded value here right if i want currency here i am providing that column name and if i want any currency i mean currency for any country that country name i will provide here so let's try this whether it is working or not i'll just post here okay so it is working let me show you this yeah i think this will be good yeah this is fair now you can see here we are providing afghanistan and we are providing currency right and it is highlighting afghani now you can use this export and uh, what you can do is you now this is your final export if you want any country put a placeholder here and whenever you are using this export just replace your country name here and you will get the currency for that similarly if you want to use any other things like let's say capitals or primary language or anything let's say capitals you can just replace in this currency also to get capital right kabul you are getting it kabul right so now this will work for any column name either in your application they will remove the any any column in between or they will add extra column so in in, in all the situations it will work so this is your export fine yeah so uh, yes yeah, so similarly like uh, there are many uh, functions and uh, many xpath access so we'll be discussing upcoming uh, in, in upcoming videos so that's all for uh, this video so uh, see you in the next video thank you